GN News, your global patrols, local guards, and news generals. children and two teachers were killed at school shooting in the state of Texas, USA. Environmentalists opposed to President Marcos' proposed transitioning of gas to clean energy. The chief of the Cebu Police Provincial Office has once again advised his men not to use the Philippine National Police uniforms if they wish to publish their TikTok dancing videos on social media. Jessica Garcia recently shared her old TV on social media. Her two kids, Kendra and Scarlett Kramer, are also in the images. On Sunday, May 22, 2022, the night market at Carbon Market on Emerald Pizon Boulevard in Barangay Ermita, Cebu City, finally opened. Good day, Cebu! Good day, Philippines! This is G News! I'm Luigi Machon and Maxine Manashan, and these are our top stories. Hello and welcome to G News. On Tuesday afternoon, an 18 year old gunman opened fire at Rob Elementary School in rural Avalde, Texas, killing at least 19 children and two teachers. For further details, let us hear from Ivy Lino. An 18 year old gunman killed at least 19 children and two teachers in a mass shooting attack at Rob Elementary School of rural Uvalde, Texas, this Tuesday afternoon. The shooter, identified by Texas officials as Salvador Ramos, was armed with his purchased handgun, an AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, and high-capacity magazines. The shooter also shot his grandmother, who is currently in critical condition, before he drove, crushed a vehicle, and eventually went on to his mass shooting attack in the elementary as Lieutenant Chris Olivares of the Texas Department of Public Safety says. Following police pursuits, Texas Governor Greg Abbott confirms that the 18-year-old suspect was also killed by law enforcement officers moments after his attack. Behind me is the civic center where victims' families are temporarily convened with the authorities. U.S. President Joe Biden in his recent address conveyed that the incident prompted him to denounce the debated U.S. gun lobby and vowed to end the nation's cycle of mass shootings. That's it for the breaking news in a mass shooting attack at Texas Elementary School. Thank you so much, Ivy. Moving on to the next news, Marcos reaffirmed his commitment to nuclear power in a live press conference on Thursday, calling it the cleanest and cheapest energy source. Environmentalists, on the other hand, argue that it is a diversion from a serious energy transition, pointing out nuclear power is dirty, destructive, and expensive. For further details, let us hear from Nelly Grace. President-elect Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. is considering the use of fossil gas as a transition fuel to renewable energy. In the live press conference on Thursday, Marcos reaffirmed his commitment to nuclear power, calling it the cleanest and cheapest energy source. Nuclear remains to be the cleanest and cheapest way to produce, um, to produce energy. Uh, the problem is that Environmentalists say it is a detour from a genuine energy transition, stressing that nuclear power is dirty, destructive, and expensive. As the Philippines transitions away from coal power, natural gas, also known as fossil gas, is being promoted as a preferred fuel. The Department of Energy and their Secretary Alfonso Cusi is pushing to strengthen the development of the country's natural gas industry in anticipation of the depletion of the Malampaya Deep Water Gas to Power project in Palawan. This is Mala Grace Malino reporting. 
Thank you, Nella Grace. Genius will be back. Never give up and be confident in what you do. Always remember that there may be tough times, but the difficulties which you face will make you more determined to achieve your goals in life. Life begins after coffee. City blends now in 7 Eleven. For our next story, the chief of the Cebu Police Provincial Office has once again advises men not to use the Philippine National Police uniforms if they wish to publish their TikTok dancing videos on social media. To further discuss the details, let us listen to Razio. The head of the Cebu Police Provincial Office, or the CPPO, has warned and knew his men not to wear the uniforms of the Philippine National Police if they want to post their TikTok dance videos on social media. CPPO head Colonel Angelbert Soriano gave his warning after learning that some policemen wearing PNP uniforms performed stereotypically gay movements in their TikTok dance videos on Facebook. The PNP main headquarters in Camp Krami had earlier issued a directive to all police personnel warning them against making such moves that would destroy the image of the police. Rizil Joy Kuyus reporting. Thank you, Rizil. To keep us an update on the weather forecast, let us hear from Mr. Angelo. Good morning, Mr. Louis and Ms. Maxine, and to the people who are watching right now. So our weather of today, as of May 29, 2022, in all parts of the zone, including Metro Manila, are expected to experience fair weather generally. Hence, we can experience can hot weather, especially in the morning. And there is a possibility of isolated rainfall caused by localized thunderstorms. So our reminder to the people is don't forget to bring umbrella when you have outside activities to protect us from the heat of the sun and from the unexpected rainfall. For our forecast temperature, in all parts of the zone, the temperature may play from 16 to 33 degrees Celsius. In Baguio, 16 to 22 degrees Celsius. And in Metro Manila, 22 to 33 degrees Celsius and the race part of the zone. Today, in all parts of Visayas, they can experience fair weather as well, except upon isolated rainfall caused by localized thunderstorm. In all parts of Visayas, the temperature may play from 22 to 34 degrees Celsius. In Cebu, 22 to 27 degrees Celsius, including Tacloban. In Iloilo, 27 to 34 degrees Celsius. However, in all part of Mindanao, they can experience the same weather as Visayas, playing from 22 to 34 degrees Celsius. And that's all for our weather forecast of today. I am Angelo Malone, and don't forget, life is just like a weather. For the next news, Jessica Garcia recently shared her own TV on social media. Her two kids, Kendra and Scarlett Kramer, are also in the images. The Tazettes were outstanding by how refined and fashionable the famous mom and her daughter looked. For the full story, let us hear from Trisha. Jessica Garcia recently took to social media 
to show her stunning OOTD together with her two daughters, Kendra and Scarlett Kramer. Netizens were then in awe of how sophisticated and chic the celebrity mom and her two daughters. In the photos, the three girls looked equally chic, classy, and beautiful, with some netizens pointing out how Jessica and Kendra look like sisters only. The former actress just simply wrote in her post with Friday vibin' with my living dogs. She also added that happiness is mother and daughter time. This is Trisha Garel Nunez reporting from G News. Back to you. Thank you so much, Trisha. For our last update, on Sunday, May 22, 2022, the night market at Carbon Market on ML Kizong Boulevard in Barangay Ermita, Cebu City, finally opened. To let us in on this event, let us hear from Joseon Loroa. Carbon Market on ML Quezon Boulevard, Barangay Ermita, Cebu City has finally opened on Sunday, May 22, 2022. The Cebu Two World Development Incorporated and the Cebu City Government have agreed to hold the nightly market at the Carbon Public Market for the three days per week instead of its original plan of one day per week. It will be held in an open space near the Viaduct at the South Road properties on Fridays and Saturdays. While on Sundays, the night market will be installed on ML Quezon Boulevard along Unit 3. Aside from the usual general merchandising, the night market will also feature its own food street, where the public can be treated to different street foods. There will be also a live band that will entertain customers. Back to you, Louie. Thank you so much for that one, Sam. Oh, that's very nice. Louie, have you been already in the Carbon Night Market? Well, not yet, but now I'm really planning to go there. Yeah, we should go there sooner. Definitely. Again, this has been Luigi Machon. And Maxine Melanchon. Your are anchors for G News. Your global patrols, local guards, and news generals. Serving you the latest news updates, truths, facts, above and beyond. Good day, everyone! Don't try it. Stop! Don't! Just don't. You don't need to try it to know if it's bad or not. All you have to do is avoid the things that can harm your health. You still have your life. Live with it. Live with your dreams. If you take illegal drugs, your life will be miserable and it can damage your future. When I was young, I was told that drugs are bad. Because of drugs, many lives have been ruined. All people who do drugs get sick and died early. Protect your life at all costs. Stay away from it. Don't try it. Stop! Don't!